Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rizal, the Traveling Island Girl. And if you are new here, thank you for visiting. I hope you stay. This is where you gotta be for everything Caribbean. Now, I've been thinking long and hard about doing this video and I've always been a little cautious about doing it because especially nowadays when everybody seems to be just a little extra sensitive, I did not want to risk insulting anyone. But then I thought, what if you as a visitor to St. Martin is actually unwillingly and unknowingly insulting locals? We don't want that, right? So let's just avoid that with these eight don'ts of when in St. Martin. Okay, so this has happened to me quite often. Actually, the whole thing, all the eight points that I'm about to make has happened to me at one time or another in my life here on St. Martin. And there, this one is in particular about our accent. Yes, we speak English and yes, we have an accent. It's like any other Caribbean island you go to has an accent. And I hear quite often when somebody's here that's new to the island, they tend to just make either make fun of it or try to speak like we do and then end up making a complete buffoon of themselves and um you know hurting our feelings in the process so my first don't is don't make fun of our accent and remember when you're here you are the one with the accent so in our culture in the caribbean culture in general i must say that greeting a person before you ask them a question is a very is a very good way to start now we locals are a very friendly bunch but we tend to get offended when you don't greet us before you ask a question i've seen it so many times somebody just walks into a store and then goes straight to do you know where i can get this and this no how about you'll get a much friendlier re um, reply if you just start a conversation with hello good morning good afternoon or good evening so my second don't is don't forget to start your question with a greeting actually don't start any conversation without a greeting all right, I get it, you know, especially if this is your first time, you want to stay in the areas where you feel more comfortable, which is with your own people. I get that. Even if you have visited St. Martin for a couple of times already, you still tend to like go to the places that you already know. And this is like human behavior, I get it. But my third don't is don't stick around in only touristy areas. Venture out, see a little bit more of what the island has to offer. You know, ask a local for guidance, ask them where they go. There's so much more to the island than those little touristy areas where everybody wants to be. So why not explore St. Martin while you're here? All right, I've seen this in Aruba, I've seen this in Bonaire, I've seen this here on St. Martin. It happens a lot. I get it. Our front streets and downtown areas tend to be right on the beach, but that is no excuse to walk around half naked. I'm sorry. Well, you know, in all fairness, I don't go to New York and walk around half naked in my bikini in Central Park, or maybe that's not frowned upon. I'm not sure. But here on St. Martin, according to our traditions and customs, it is very rude to be walking into a store or down our streets in just a bikini or something skimpy. It's just not done. So that's my fourth don't. Don't walk around half naked in our streets. All right, so this one is one that I hear quite often, um, and this is why I want to address it. So um, my fifth don't is don't complain about the island being expensive. Why do I say that? Because yes, the island's prices tend to be a little bit higher above than what you call normal from the mainland. But in all honesty, remember that we're a tiny island in the middle of nowhere and we do not produce these items ourselves so everything from the cute little strawberries in your yogurt in the morning to the car you're driving as your rental is imported the only things that we produce here are coconuts really and they're not even native to the island and fish you know just like if i go to your place and i ask for a mahi i might just fall dead at the price that they want to charge me for it so just keep that in mind whenever you order something or you go to our supermarkets and you find the price a little higher than what you're used to okay so while we're on the topic of complaining 
Why complain at all? So that's my sixth don't. Don't complain when you're here. You're here on vacation. All you need to do is just relax yourself. Have that third bottle of beer or that third cocktail. Sit yourself down, relax. Appreciate the nature of St. Martin. Appreciate the people, the culture, and everything that's beautiful here. That's where you. That's why you're here. So there's no time to complain about slow internet or uh, power outages. We complain enough about that. So that's. My I don't don't complain about anything you're here on vacation enjoy yourself all right so since you're working on not complaining also work on not assuming it's like a lot of people tend to think that because we live on an island we have no choice or we don't travel or we don't go to school or we're not educated Take that out of your head. Don't assume that we don't travel. We're very well-traveled people. We get itchy feet. I mean, we live on a tiny island. Where do you want us, to, what do you want us to do about that? The only answer is to travel. And we, unlike you, cannot just jet in, get in a car and go road tripping. Cause you know, we'll be like from here to there and that's it. So <laughs> the only way for us to do, get to see new things and get out of our environment is to travel by plane or by boat. And also with education, where do you think we get educated? Of course we get educated. Of course we got schools here. We even have a university. We have a Caribbean medical university. I mean, there is options here as well. And if we don't, we go abroad to finish our studies. And while at it, our grocery stores are packed with everything you need. Like seriously, there's no need for you to carry anything with you. We have gluten-free, we have vegan, we have vegetarian, we have meats of all kinds and things. And our grocery come from since you know we spoke about importing our groceries are imported from the United States from Europe and you even have those international aisles with spices from India and things from China so there's really no need for you to bring your own stuff okay and the eight don't for today is don't forget your sunblock you know and while you're at it please please if you must bring your sunblock bring one that is reef safe our reefs need our help now more than ever and if you've been following me for a while you know how much i care about the environment and how much i am into the sustainability of our island so please 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 no toxins and no hazardous material we are trying to keep our reefs safe not only for us but also the marine life so that you the visitor can come and really continue enjoying our underwater paradise as well and with that I've come to the end of this video I hope you've enjoyed it and please check out the other videos I've made about St. Martin and other islands such as Aruba and Curacao as well I am making more and more of these vlog series up next maybe Anguilla and Dominica still working on those you know while you're in the Caribbean you're here to relax so don't hurry don't be in a rush take it easy take it island time and then just enjoy yourself and I hope you keep coming back to the wonderful island of St. Martin with its friendly people just like me. Thank you for watching. Until the next time, I'm Rizal, the Traveling Island Girl.